Today we're going to learn how to apply Excel VBA to help you interpolate to discover thermodynamic properties of the fluids of interest. The question we're going to answer today is what is the specific volume, internal energy, enthalpy, and entropy of superheated steam at a pressure of 0.1 megapascals and a temperature of 85 degrees C? Now, superheated steam, as shown here on the temperature entropy diagram, is represented by point three is represented by the point three and it's outside the phase diagram as you can see first thing you want to do is open up your steam tables or go reference them in your book and find out what uh, what properties you have available here's an SI unit steam table that I found online so we're interested in superheated steam, which is the same as superheated as superheated water. So table A6 is what we'll be looking at. If we go down to table A6, and you recall that we're looking for pressure of 0 0.1 megapascal as shown here, and we have two temperatures, uh, we're interested in 85 degrees C. So if we look at our table, temperatures to the left we can see that we don't have a value specified at 85 degrees C so what do we do well we look at uh, what what uh, range 85 degrees C falls into and you can see it falls between 50 and 100 and these are the properties uh, enthalpy internal energy enthalpy and entropy at those temperatures What I've done is I've actually coded a linear interpolator function in Excel VBA, and it's real easy to do. As you can see, it's just one line of code. So um, the actual condition is basically 85 degrees C. Temperature 1 is 50 degrees C. Temperature 2 is 100 degrees C, and value 1 and value 2 are the corresponding values to our temperatures. So this could be uh, the enthalpy at temperature 1, value 2 can be the enthalpy at temperature 2, or you could substitute a uh, specific volume, internal energy, or entropy in for those values. As you can see here, I've entered the corresponding values for, internal, for specific volume, internal energy, enthalpy, and entropy. 50 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius and I've also specified the temperature of interest that we're looking to calculate these values at or linear interpolate at. The next thing you want to do is you want to apply your linear interpolation function so you call it in, in Excel I call it titled it linear interpolation results my function and if you go up here and click insert function you can see the variables that you must input to get a result. So the actual condition is 85 degrees C, the temperature uh, T1 is 50 degrees C, the lower bound, the upper bound is 100 degrees C, and the corresponding values are in this table. And our result for specific volume is 16. Point 4973 meters cubed per kilogram. And we do the same thing for internal energy enthalpy. We just change, move our cells over. And we will get our answers for 85 degrees C. And it's that easy, guys. I mean, you can really do a lot with Excel VBA to help you uh, check your answers or your results and also make faster calculations. So that's a wrap today. Thanks for tuning in.